My name is Patricia Fuller, and I am a grandmother, and I work uh, at a retail store part-time. I first moved here in September of 05, and then in June of 07, I refinanced to get a lower interest rate. In the fall of 2008, when everything kind of went rock bottom in our country, I had been doing a lot of temp jobs, and with the money that I had and the amount of money that I was getting on the temp jobs, I, I was doing fine. And I was right at the age of not quite getting Social Security or retirement, so I was kind of in a limbo and I just wanted to try to uh, get through that. So in December, uh, my payments are always due on the 1st, so in December of 08, I called Countrywide, they were the servicer, to see if there was anything they could do to help me, that I wasn't getting any work, and I had not been for several months, but they think in a few months it would pick up. And he said, well, yes, I can uh, suspend your payments for three months, and but when March comes, you'll need to make that payment and keep them up each month after that. I said, okay. That was Bank of America at that time. They had taken over Countrywide, and they said they saw where the guy from Countrywide told me that, but he didn't have any right to tell me that. So they put my March payment, they said, on my December payment. So that put me all this time behind, and then they wanted all these thousands of dollars in legal fees and all the back payments. I said, if I'd have had that much money, I wouldn't have asked for help to begin with. It's just chaos, just total chaos, and I, I don't believe a word they say. Because they'll tell you something one day at sunup, and by sunset, they've told you something different. The next day at sunup, they'll tell you something different than they told you the two times the day before. They went ahead and foreclosed and even took the title out of my name. When it was really a wrongful foreclosure because I, they had made an offer and I accepted it. I did everything I was supposed to do, but they're still not satisfied. I don't expect to live here for free, but I don't expect my home to be stolen from me either.